All right, synaptic junction and transmission. We have types of synapses, which are the neuromuscular junction, cholinergic synapses, adrenergic synapses, the electrical synapses. These are the four types of synapses. And then we will discuss other neurotransmitters because there are other neurotransmitters apart from these junctions. Then we'll discuss the excitatory and inhibitory potentials. And we will discuss the other inhibitors. All right, this is a synaptic junction. And we will see here, this is a neuromuscular junction. And as you can see here, this is a neuron. This is the axon, this is the terminal button, this is the muscle, and this is the cell membrane of the muscle. And here we have the receptor for the neurotransmitter which will be secreted here, which is, of course, in this case, will be acetylcholine. Now, this is the animation, and watch it carefully, this animation, that how actually the neurotransmission occurs. This is the first thing, as you can see here. This is the action potential which uh, when reaches the terminal button here it is coming it will first of all first of all open these calcium channels this is the first thing this is the first thing which occurs here and when these gates are opening as you can see here the calcium ions will move in these are the small balls which are the calcium ions they are moving in and these calcium ions which move in they actually cause these vesicles which contain the acetylcholine to First of all, dock here and then burst and then release the acetylcholine. This is the acetylcholine traveling the synaptic cleft and attaching to their receptors, which are the ligand gated. These gates open and here are the sodium ions which are coming in. These are the ligand gated channels which cause the local depolarization. Mind you, this is the local depolarization, which is the end plate potential. And it causes the local depolarization, this is the positive charges and also causes the adjacent area slight depression this slight depression when it reaches the threshold opens these voltage gated channels of the sodium and here you can see here the sodium ions rushing in and actually causing the action potential the actual action potential is caused by these voltage gated channels when the sodium ions come in so this is here the as you can see here the action potential occurs all the area in the cell becomes positive now these I have written in sequence the same thing. Number one, the signal arrives through the axon at the terminal. The calcium gates, they open. The calcium when comes in actually causes the release of acetylcholine from the vesicles. The acetylcholine travels, the cleft, attaches to its receptors, which are actually the ligand gated. This is the important part, these are the ligand gated. And rest of the thing you know, this is again the same thing as you can see here again the same animation watch it again carefully these are the um, this this the current arises and the gates open these are the calcium ions which move in and uh, here we have the acetylcholine which is which will be released from here goes to its receptors the gates open the sodium ion comes in and changes the local potential which causes these voltage gated channels to open and then sodium comes in, which actually causes this action potential, which, act, which actually occurs here. As you can see here, these charges, which are changing and become rapidly positive all over. Now, this is the cholinergic junction. As you can see here, how the acetylcholine forms and how it works. This is again the animation in which you can see here that this is the acetyl-CoA and this is the choline. This is the enzyme which is the CAT. The enzyme works, makes the acetylcholine. This acetylcholine is then stored in these vesicles, released when the signal arrives, reaches here at its receptors. As soon as it reaches, this acetylcholine rays comes in, breaks them into two parts, which are choline and acetate. The choline then goes back all the way and is recycled and again has to form the acetylcholine. So this is the cholinergic, uh, you can call it recycling, formation and recycling. These are again the same thing and the sequence that is the acetylcholine is synthesized from acetylcholine and choline. Choline acetyltransferase, this is the enzyme which is called CAT. 
and then it's stored in the vesicles releases upon the action potential which reaches these terminal axons which opens the calcium gates which also bursts the vesicles and that's how the acetylcholine is released travels through presynaptic cleft attaches to its receptors and that's how it happens now this is the adrenergic neurons and their transmission number one as you can see here this is the tyrosine which is coming in it comes in the axon and is converted to dopa by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase this is the rate limiting enzyme the dopa is then converted to dopamine by the enzyme dopa decarboxylase the dopa then goes into the vesicles and then it is converted to norepinephrine by the enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase when it comes out travels reaches its receptors the termination of the action here is different which is the reuptake number one the diffusion away number two and number three is by the uh, conversion via the enzyme catechol o methyl transferase to nor meta nephrin so here we have different mechanism for the termination the reuptake number one the diffusion away second and conversion to nor meta nephrin these are again the same steps tyrosine comes in converted to dopa via the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase rate limiting enzyme dopa converted to dopamine via the enzyme dopa decarboxylase the dopamine goes inside the vesicles there it is converted to norepinephrine via this enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase then norepinephrine release travels the cleft works on the receptors here is the important part the reuptake is mainly via the termination the second one is diffusion away the third one is the compt acting on it and converting to it to be metanephrine now another important thing is happening in the adrenal medulla which is not here that is the norepinephrine there is converted further via the enzyme phenyl ethanol amine and methyl methyl transferase to epinephrine so that's the only part where the epinephrine is made which is the adrenal medulla this is the synaptic junction and transmission this is the small animation in which the action potential arrives and here is the action potential which happens here in the cell body and here is the action potential which is going on this is the excitatory post synaptic potential as you can see here these are the ligands which are coming in, in here the ligands may be any which may be acetylcholine or any as they attaches to their receptors actually they open the gates and uh, as you can see here that the sodium ion actually comes in they change this negative potential to the positive one so they are causing the local depolarization not the action potential this is just the local depolarization and this is called the excitatory postsynaptic potential again the same thing more or less same thing happens here in the inhibitory postsynaptic potential the ligand comes in attaches to their receptors the gates open and when the gates open the difference here is that uh, instead of the positive charge coming in the negative charge which is the chloride actually comes in which causes to increase this negativity or the second mechanism is that the potassium ion as you can see here they go out and they also create the negativity because the positive ion goes out as as you can see here this is the negativity which is going on here thank you